Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and good day student. Um, we will talk about uh, projectile. So here's another another question. All right, from the picture over here, you can see that uh, a guy is uh, kick the ball within the initial velocity of uh, at point A over here at point A. The initial velocity is 10 meter per second uh, within 30 degree from the uh, horizontal ground. So what you need to do is you need to find the maximum height. So maximum height is uh, occurred at this position. So this is uh, position A, this is B and this is C when the ball land at the uh, ground <clears throat> before we start then we need to break the velocity at A over here into Vx component so I put it as uh, Vax which is equal to uh, 10 cos 30 so V A Y V A Y V A Y which is the initial velocity at vertical as this is equal to 10 sine 30 so the question is asking you to find the maximum height which is occurred at point B over here from the equation of uh, V squared equal to V initial squared plus 2AS and then when we are talking about vertical axis so I put it over here because uh, we are dealing with this uh, point okay, point B so I should write over here V BY velocity uh, on the vertical direction uh, at point B squared is equal to initial velocity which is uh, A Y squared so this is the initial velocity at uh, pointing to the vertical plus 2 minus G S so in this case S is the vertical distance so which mean that uh, I can rearrange the so we know that at this point at point B there is no vertical velocity because uh, the ball is flying from point A and then at point B it is start to moving down okay. it start to move down so at point B over here there is no vertical velocity which is zero so this is initial velocity which is uh, this one 10 sine 30 squared so plus 2 minus 8 1 so I change S into H because uh, we are dealing with verticals so this one become H so what we will have here is uh, 0 is equal to uh, 5 squared minus 19.62 H so you will reveal the H value as 1.27 meter. Okay. So the distance, the height of the uh, this one is 1.27 meter. Okay, the next question is asking you to get the range of R, which is the horizontal distance from point A to point C over here. So 
so the distant r um, again i rewrite the uh, horizontal component over here which is uh, vax which is equal to 10 cos the theta theta is uh, 30 so from the equation of uh, s is equal to vt at the x direction so this is uh, s x is equal to v a x t yeah. so the distance uh, you need to uh, reveal over here the horizontal distance but anyway you still don't know the time of uh, the, the flying the flying time from point a to point c so we put it this one as equation one and then to find t uh, to find the time the flying time from the equation of s uh, equal to v initial t yeah, plus uh, a t squared and then uh, you know that the uh, i'm putting the uh, s y huh? the direction of uh, I mean the on the vertical line eh? on the vertical okay I put it uh, V is equal to this one is actually V a y T plus half minus G T squared um actually s y you know that uh, when when i'm dealing with the vertical at point c at point c over here eh, at point c over here so s y is uh, zero eh? v a y is uh, just now is uh, v a y is this one it's uh, v a y is actually 10 sine 30 so I put it here 10 sine 30 and then T because you want to uh, find the time over here plus half negative 9.81 and then T squared so from this equation actually uh, you can dapat satu variable T eh? Yeah, variable t which is uh, 4.90 t squared so you will reveal t is equal to uh, 1.0 1.94 second So what what you have here is uh, you already know the time, yeah? you already know the time, and then from the equation one over here, from equation one, so uh, you will get S X, which is the distance from A to C, yeah? from A to C, from A to C. Uh, and then knowing the VAX is how much just now? Uh, 10 cos 30 and then you times the masa over here and yeah, you dapat this thing so times uh, 1.0194 we get the distance is about 8.83 meter so this is s x which is equal to the range of uh, this one okay if you look into this uh, equation eh, why i choose uh, this equation 
because uh, we know that this is uh, SY dealing with the vertical we know that if the ball is been kicked from A until this point at the point B it have the vertical direction of H but uh, when it's going down until point C so the vertical distance will be come back to zero so that is why this equation is being implemented to reveal the uh, t the time over here so the last question is asking you to get the speed eh? the speed of the ball just before it strikes the ground so you know that uh, of course at this position at point c is just before strike the ground uh, at x component there is a constant uh, velocity which is uh, v a x v a x is actually equal to v b x and equal to v c x at any point point a point b and point c the horizontal uh, velocity of the ball is a constant which is uh, according to uh, v a x which is uh, 10 cos 30 so what you need to reveal now is what is the uh, vertical velocity downwards at this position v c y v c y so uh, from the equation of uh, this one v uh, is equal to uh, v o plus uh, a t and then you know that we are looking at the v c y uh, then this is the initial velocity plus minus g and then there is the time uh, traveling so this is what we are looking for vcy uh, initial velocity at vertical position you know that this is equal to 10 uh, sine 30 so minus 9.5 Eight one and then the times. Uh, just now we are getting the time uh, of flying. Flying time about uh, how much just now? The flying time. Okay, this is the one. This is the flying time from A to C. One point zero one nine four. So we need to time uh, 1.0 uh, 194 second so we will get uh, 5.5 uh, 5 meter per second cy minus 5 meter per second five meter per second so you know that this one is uh, negative eh? because it's moving to this because this already I already show the the arrow over here so this is five meter per second and then you know that this one is equal to eight point six six meter per second so the magnitude because you are talking about speed so actually uh, we are we want to to find the magnitude of the uh, uh, magnitude of the velocity at point c so v c is actually v c x squared plus v c y which is uh, VCX how much 8.66 squared plus 
vcy is minus 5 squared okay. so this is uh, 10 meter per second okay. so uh, the magnitude at point c is 10 meter per second all right thank you very much